Hello, this is Sim Racing Corner. I borrowed an Xbox One off a friend to try out the console edition of Assetto Corsa Competition Zone. Uh, firstly, sorry for the recording quality. Uh, the webcam is picking up this bluish pattern off my TV set. Um, of course, when you look at it in real life, you don't see that. Um, I'm using a gamepad as well because Kunos has screwed up with wheel support. I've tried two Thrustmaster wheels, a TMX and a T300, and ACC does not pick them up. Either wheel does not work. Um, Kunos has acknowledged this problem. Um, as yet, no timeline on the fix. From my understanding, Fanatec and Logitech wheels should work. My initial plan was a short review on this console version and a bit of a comparison between the PC edition. Because it is a port from the PC version so it would be interesting to see how well it compared. Um, but because I can't use a wheel I've abandoned that idea at least for now. Um, so this is a bit of a rough test with a gamepad and you'll see I struggled badly. It is my first go with a gamepad and I'd never race with a gamepad so you know, it is outside of my comfort zone really. Um, yep so not for me. Um, with practice maybe I could get to some level of competence but really it was too hard and I basically hated it. Um, all I can say is it does appear to have all the content and features from the PC version by the usual console related restrictions you know so no triples, no widescreen support, no VR, no head tracking, no adjustable fov and um, the console version is stuck at 30 fps also 20 car max on track and rendered at 900p and the fancy post-processing effects on the PC version are not present in the console version. You know, it's fair to say the PC version is not very well optimised anyway, um, you know, it needing a beefy system to run well. And clearly the console version has inherited um, many of these characteristics, or basically all of the characteristics of that optimization, basically being, you know, <laughs> being hard to run. Um, yeah, hence these compromises. Um, yeah, so without being able to test it with a wheel, I can't give a true assessment of the handling, physics, or indeed the force feedback. But my best guess is, on the physics at least, um, I get the impression it is the same as the PC. Um, it is a simulation, it's not an arcade driving game or a simcade. It requires skill and practice to be competitive. There is a driving line aid and stability control auto counter steering setting um, in there if you want to use it. Uh, but still, um, using those aids doesn't suddenly make it super easy to drive. You know, you still need to put in effort. Because this uh, initial footage had the blue tinge, um, it doesn't look great. Um, I almost scrapped it, but I decided just to upload it just to show you my terrible driving uh, gamepad abilities. Um, yeah, I feel a wheel and pedals is absolutely essential for this game. And, um, you know, we'll see. I might revisit it once Kunos has uh, fixed the wheel bug. So, yeah, we'll see what happens in the future there. Um, okay, well, I'm going to end it now. I'm off. You can watch the rest of it and you can just see my catastrophic attempt to um, get round Spa <laughs> with a gamepad, a, a track which I'm you know, pretty familiar with and um, I, I do use actually for testing quite a bit, actually, for some of my other videos. You'll see it come up a bit. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and considering it's a track I'm, you know, very generally very good with um i just had no clue so <laughs> and that just shows you it's the gamepad but and, and it just shows you you know the gamepad was against me but it wasn't you know it wasn't easy because it was a uh, it's on a console it was actually very very difficult because i think um the it's a it is sim um and the other thing is it's, it's just so twitchy it's so difficult to kind of catch um catch anything you know catching skids or just you know just basically get getting the right um um wheel angle because it's it gets kind of like is, you know, you've got a really small joystick to try and uh, fit all that steering uh, rack into um, into that kind of into that motion, and it is, it is tough to do. And I think yes, maybe if you are kind of more accustomed to using a gamepad, it's going to be you know it's going to be second nature and stuff like that. But anyone who's coming from a wheel and pedals um, trying to use a gamepad is just you know absolutely bloody horrible. And I think um, <laughs> I think I demonstrated that here. So yeah, uh, so yeah, didn't didn't really like it, but that's the way it goes but at least it's a first look um like, like i said i might come back to it uh, at some point i will just wait and see but i'm off so uh thanks for watching uh drop your comments below the video um <laughs> 
thumb down this one because it's just a horrible video, right? Uh, but definitely subscribe. So I'll be back soon with something a bit nicer, I think. Better footage and everything else. But uh, uh, so yeah, so take care. Happy simming and bye-bye for now.